In today's Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you'll pick up one of the most valuable tips I've learned regarding working with a coach. If you've watched these tips for any length of time, you've probably deduced that I am a speaking and presentation skills coach in addition to being a speaker and author on the topic. Because of that, you've probably also made the leap and safely assume that I'm a big fan of coaching. And I am, if it's the right kind. But there's another side to coaching you need to keep in mind. One of my mentors taught me this phrase a couple of years ago, and I use it with all my clients now. When push comes to shove, when you've got an idea and you may not even be getting support from your coach or your mentor, or maybe you're, you're, you're just having disagreements with them, ultimately, you are the CEO of your presentation. That means you have final call. I was reminded of this last night. I'm working with a client, very successful presenter. Uh, he's, he's working on a TEDx talk. He actually went and saw a, a TEDx event yesterday, watched 15 speakers and, and came away with it thinking, I need to change my presentation. I'm sounding too formulaic. I'm beginning to sound like all these other speakers. He called me up and he said, Mike, I got this idea. I, I just think that where we're going with this speech doesn't feel right. My gut is telling me that I need to make this change and incorporate parts of my play into my TEDx talk. And my first response was, you need to trust your gut. Remember, you're the CEO of this talk. And by the way, I love your idea, <laughs> okay? Now, if I had disagreed with him, we would have talked it out, but ultimately he would have been correct to disregard my feedback if his gut is telling him this is the way to go. I understand that when you hire a coach, there are many reasons for that. One is you're not always sure. A lot of people I work with don't trust their guts, and that's part of my coaching is to teach them, hey, if you get this strong, nagging feeling inside that says do this, you've got to ignore everybody, including me, if we're contradicting that gut feeling. You've got to go with what inherently you know is correct. The tip today, you are the CEO of your presentation, your speech, or your talk. Get feedback. Get coaching get mentoring. They will definitely help you with parts of your story that maybe you don't see the impact of, but ultimately the final decisions have to be on you because you're the one who will stand up and you are the one who will be evaluated, judged, and hopefully followed by the audiences you're speaking to. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.